crying. That's it. See, look, I was crying too, so you can't cover. No, 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 that's, that's something else. You no, 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 no. I'm no. crying laughing, you crying laughing. It, this is just the vibe right now. We all laughing. That's what no, it that is. that was funny. No, that was funny. What's going on guys, I'm Speedy and the name of this show is 360 with Speedy. And today we have two very special guests in the building, the MMG family. Yeah. Ricky Rose and Meek Miller here. Yes sir. This is special, man. I mean- It's we, most definitely a special. Too good to be true. We, it's only right we make a movie. I've had both of you guys on the show individually. You know what I'm saying? We've made classic moments together. Yeah. We've made classic moments it's together. One of my favorite shows, by the way. Thank you, bro. I appreciate a lot of good marketing on this show. Not tearing artists down, building them up. Giving lame platforms, yeah. appreciate it, Speedy. Thank you, bro. You know we don't we we try to make a good platform that people enjoy to come on, so to hear that, that means a lot. Uh, man, y'all been doing this for a long time. It feels nostalgic, you know what I mean? Like this feels like it could be 2014, or it feels like it could be 2024. Yeah, and I'm still with That's both of y'all. Way to put it. You know, yeah. what, I mean? it could, what, what decade is it? It's still relevant, you know? Yeah, do what you want, decade. Yeah, they be yeah. trying to call a play. You be like, no, we doing it how we do it. Yeah, I like I that. I love it. I love it. I got Rose, one of my top guys, top five, dead or alive. Yeah, I love that. Top three on the bank accounts. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Is, it, yeah, is this factual? Sure. Top three bank accounts as well? Not just top five rappers. In my age bracket, hell yeah, shit. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know who in my age bracket. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who age bracket. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> 15 years old, 115 years old, it don't, it don't matter. It don't matter, we nigga, and we, and we on the move. Yeah. We hustling. That's what we showing you right now. Too good to be true. That's what it represents. The biggest boss. We got the young hybrid, but we're also Kobe and Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was the single that was rolled out to, to announce the project. I'm sure, Meek, you've met Shaq in some regard in some way. Yeah, Shaq my OG for real in real life. I'm, I really fuck with Shaq heavily. Shaq is a good dude. Russ, is it true that you almost signed to Shaq many, many years ago? Many years ago, I met with Shaq when he was launching his Twism Records. Right. The World yeah. Is Mine. What is it? The World Is Mine? Or something? Right, right. We met in a Atlanta somewhere. We met in a restaurant. We was in a restaurant. Then we went in the back in the kitchen. I spit a few bars for him. He gave me his contact. We, st we stayed in touch a little while, but you know how it go. But he look at it hustling. now. You went yeah. from almost signing to him. Now you're your own Kobe and Shaq. You Shit, know? I might sign him. You might, say, yeah, that's fire. Why not? <laughs> yeah. That's tough. Why not? I Meek, mean, you and I spoke about this, but the very, or one of the very first times that you met Ross, you wanted to make a good impression. So you rented a Phantom. Yeah. And then the car broke down and you had to get a jump in the Bell Harbor parking lot or something like that. Yeah, Ross ain't know what I was going through. Well, well, he's, all this can we speak about this, this moment? for me. Because you probably have a different perspective. Like, so when this. I first came to Ross' house and shit, Ross and them had to, uh, they had the Miami. I ain't never seen that shit with the marble driveways and all that, with the forms lined all the way up. Background with the statues in the backyard, blue water. So when I came down, I'm like, damn, I had a little AP on, but that wasn't really about nothing. I was, I was seeing some shit. So when I went home for like three days. I was telling my man, like, yo, next time we come back down that joint, we gotta come back down here right. right. Like, make sure they see us the right way. We pulling up in a pile of rental. <laughs> And coming to talk about a deal, I want him to see us the right way. So I I run into a person, I never rented a car for 3500 a day. That was outrageous to me. I've grabbed, I ran into the worst rental Miami nigga. Yeah. Tried to go big, Phantom. Went to Bell Harbor Mall to go get some clothes when I got to Bell Harbor. I got the bags, I jumped back up in a whip. That joint ain't starting up. What the fuck? I'm hitting a button. I call the boy, me and him arguing now. He bought me a Bentley Spur. We uh, he end up owing me money. I go back to Raw's house. Me and Raw shot to the Lil Wayne party. You know this shit vivid to me because it's the first days I'm stepping into. I'm about to see Wayne today. Wayne just came home from jail. Mm -hmm. Raw's taking me to a bank. They had a party at a bank. We on the expressway. I'm following Ross. He in a phantom. He in his own phantom. He doing like 110. 100 is normal. Yeah. So mind you, I'm trying to keep up with him. I'm sliding behind him and shit in the goat. I mean, in the uh, the Bentley. Benz. It just boosts my confidence. So I wanted Ross and them to see me in a certain way, but it took me a lot just to uh, dry that form <clears throat> like that. And then next time I came to Miami, I ended up buying a Rolls Royce, and it was Ross. I was like, man, I'm trying to get a Rolls Royce. Ross like, man, what's that? You got 100? I got 100 to that. I'm like, shit, I can get a hundred of that. I gotta go home, hustle for like 30 days. 
I call Ross back, like, yo, you still got 100 to that? He like, yeah, I got 100 of that. Boom. And we went down. Since they scheming video was getting shot, I had to get the bubble lease because I ain't had my credit right. Shout out to Gino. Gino fucked me up. He hit me with the bubble. The joint of, I don't know if you know about bubble What's lease. What's the bubble? When you first start getting money and you can't get your crib, you can't get your car. That, be that beacon ain't There's right There's some yet. shit that they, I ain't even understand. All yeah, I knew was I wasn't bringing 200,000 in this car, 350. And they got a bubble lease. I wasn't even supposed to get a bubble lease with 200 down. Because you basically put more than half down. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, but I ain't know no I better. I should call him for that. No, yeah, G. no, G don't owe me. You owe me one. I don't care how many years ago that was. Fuck that. I'm going to call you by yeah. that, Jones. Yeah, you supposed to get my credit right <laughs> yeah, off of that yeah, one. Yeah, nah, that but that was a major like... point of my life right there, you know? And I, I ended up getting that rose and That was my motivation. I had to start somewhere. I knew I was in a rental, though. I wasn't trying to make it mine, but... I needed that feel when that I pulled up on Rosé. That yeah. motivation. That's a beautiful full circle moment. You went from renting it to getting it, now you're sitting next to him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what, what was your perspective on, on, on this? Obviously, you probably didn't know that none of that should even happen. No, 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 I never moment. heard of that. I never this heard This is your first time hearing that story? This is my first time yeah, hearing no, that, that story. Yeah, that was a whole journey for me. It's real entertaining. I so, love it. So when you saw him pull up in the bent, what did you think? You was probably thinking, oh, all right. What's no, no, no. You, you got to understand, when I first seen him, I, I understood his drive. That w that's what was priceless to me. Mm. The fact that it's not many people that could go in the studio and stay in the studio with me for the whole night. Yeah. That's, that hasn't, that hasn't done, that hasn't happened over 20 years, 10 times. I ran into one, not to cut you off, I ran into one of my old homies. He like, I'm working with artists. He said, them niggas top testosterone ain't up like you <laughs> They ain't working hard. Testosterone. Like you. He said, I ain't been around no niggas that's like you. No, no, no. When different. I ran into Ross, it was different. Nigga, we he doing left the four or five records a day. Yeah. One day. You, nigga, what? We get Leave up, at we'll eight go. in the morning, get back at 11. Nigga, we get up early in the morning. I'm talking about we on the what studio. Time you we me? leave in the studio. I text you in the morning. Now I still got there. 5 a.m., yeah. 6 a.m. And them things getting caught. <laughs> All right, what we doing? Well, I was looking at that. Yeah, yeah. It's still like that. Mm. Both of you guys have very iconic legendary dive moments. Mine more legendary. Hold than on. Me. So what I want to do is I want to show on, each me. of y'all gotta be honest. Yeah. Each other's dive. And I want y'all to not a dive though, though. No. <laughs> like, look, it's a cultural thing that we have to explain that you know that like wait, wait till we show you a clip first. Wait till we, okay. No, for real, it's like some shit you gotta like this cultural for like the trenches. In Philly, when we dive. We cup like this. You gotta make it hit your stomach, but it ain't a belly flop. Make it sound like thunder. Boom, when you hit the water. So they think I'm trying to dive. If I need to do a three, I know how to do a back semi. If I need to do a semi, semi. Oh, <laughs> the, oh. the internet said narrative, like, I know how to do Fuck a it, semi. I'm gonna do a land. back semi too. I'm Next time we jump. get on Ross diving Fuck board, it. I'm gonna give y'all a I'm semi hit that perfect no splash dive right, we to show you it. the internet is leading you guys in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, hold you on. heard what? I'm so, gonna give it to so, him. You heard me? So, so 20 right. feet. <laughs> so, watch, this is me. I want you to rate this dive in your opinion out of 10. Okay. Ooh. In Jesus' name. See where I'm from? In Miami, that would have been a flop. See, that's a flop in Miami. In Philly, that's yeah. a 10. That's a 10 in Miami. What would you give it in Miami? <laughs> no, no, if it was a flop, it's a 10. Oh, the flop is a 10. Yo, my God, it's one of the greatest flops in the history of flops. Now. <laughs> that nigga jumped off and get no distance off the side, went high. And came down with the cup. So when you say the cup, you could be jumping no, off. You hit that cup. You can jump off a roof so, into three feet full of water off a dive. You ain't gonna hit that ground with the cup. Pop, it's gonna slow you down. It ain't going That's so how we it, do it. So that was an intentional. Yeah. You want a real? You want a clean? When I got this, you know the chicks in my life. Hey, Meek, you don't know how to dive. I'm like, yo, I know how to flip. I know how to woolly for a hundred blocks. Oh no! <laughs> I'm very charismatic. When you see me doing something a certain way, do not let the internet lead you and McMill. Next hey, time, no, that was, I'm gonna give y'all this no. for a complex a semi front no splash dive, just to show you that two things you see on the internet is not real life. You know, I love so that. it's a cultural thing now. We cup in Philly. Copy. Okay. So when the white kids that might be from the suburbs, they don't understand like in Philly we gonna cup. It sound like thunder when you, you making noise, you heard? Well, speaking of sounding like thunder, this Meek is 
Ross hitting the double decker slapper. Is that what, what this no, double decker? Ross, Ross just fucked up no, right no, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, I'm finna answer my shit like Meek did. <laughs> no, hold on, let him go first. Fuck that. Let him go first. No, fuck that. Too strong. no, this complex, <laughs> nigga. What? It was my shorts. Nah, no, it wasn't your shorts. It was my, it was my draws. Bro, it's just speedy here. You don't have to lie to me, bro. You my dog. We go way back. You don't have to lie about this. Boy, I had a cute bitch after that, boy. She loved Rose, boy. What I ain't happened? gonna lie, I caught that flat. I wish I could have came up with an answer. I thought about it, I can't. <laughs> Nothing. Rose caught that flat. You caught a flat that was a double decker slapper though. That was a double decker slapper. Yeah, yeah. So this is my dive. And my I'll knee, and my my knee little... really hurt it. it, it my <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see. All right, look. Shit. So this is my dive I sent to my little chicks when they be uh, sending me Instagram memes. <laughs> that shit be clean, man. <laughs> that shit was clean, man. Nigga, you went up the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no clean doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you jumped up. One and a half feet and went in. Come I just wanted to be meat. clean. You heard me? Yeah. No cup. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, no splash on the entry. I I'm giving y'all a double, I might give y'all a double, a double semi <laughs> die. You know what I mean? Rose, go, I'm going off a of rose board into the 30 feet. You heard? Oh, no, nah, that shit deep. That's like you saying, oh, not a willy and I fall and I really know how to do it. This is a certain way we be doing it. So, what did you think of? Of Ross's dive off of, off the uh, diving board. Nigga, a ten. That's it was a, a ten. His, 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 his board, his springboard is so bouncy that it might bounce you in the air so high when you come down. If you don't catch it at the right time, it just don't. So he get a ten just for having a diving Listen, board. For anybody watching, my swimming pool diving <laughs> board is like when you go pay fifty cents in a community that y'all used to walk to as kids. You know how y'all used to put y'all <laughs> shoes in a locker and they steal your shoes when you came back? Well, that's what they did in Miami, but yeah, that's what my shit was like. So I blew out my knee. <laughs> I blew my shit out, I ain't gonna lie. Did you feel real pain after that? I felt real pain. But I got out and dove again. Re Redemption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still went and got some money, went, finished the party. Kicked it with some chicks, jumped on the jet when they got some money. But I blew my knee out. I had to chill for about a month. For a month? Yeah, a month. All right, it happens, though. Pass my phone over It there. don't happen oh, to me, now. We, we got your jack still yeah. hostage. It don't happen. It don't happen, but I pulled it off. It's all good. Meek, uh, on uh, Khaled's God Did, yeah. which you eventually remixed for Flamers, but uh, Hove raps on there, he said, me and me could never beef. I freed that nigga from a whole bit. Yeah. When you hear this for the first time, obviously y'all are in a good place, but when yeah. you hear that, is it still like a, an excitement to hear somebody like Jay? Yeah, like it's always Florida? exciting to hear anybody that to that level. Jay-Z, uh, Jay-Z was one, that's the OG. It was crazy when I heard Beyonce say Free Meek. I was in his jail cell. She's like, in the hood, like, Free Meek. Yeah. I've been around Hove a lot, but when I heard Beyonce say it, of course, was the whole oop. That shit like jumped me out the building, but of course I always had dreams to catching up with Hov and them from a young nigga. Like I always, I, I said when I'm around him, I had dreams of catching up with you, I'm here. Mm. So you know, to be able to get spoke on by some of the greats that been in this game and make lane for me, of course. And that shit, them giving light to my name and the situation and such, that shit bring attention to my, to my situation and of course, uh, I love a shout out from Hov, who the fuck would? <laughs> That's like, you can't pay for that type of marketing, you know? Right. You can't pay for Rosé to shout you out right uh, now. The, Ross. the business me and Jay-Z done did for the last 15 years has never been an invoice exchange. Not one. That's a beautiful thing. Relationship me is important. Yeah. It seems like y'all have such an open communication with each other. Y'all will say, you know, y'all are yeah. bros, so y'all say anything. But there's a verse I have to ask you about. Yeah. On Apple of My Eye, you say, I told Meek I wouldn't trust Nikki. <laughs> Instead of beefing with your dog, you just give him some distance. Is that a real, something you really said to him? It, you know, what, what that line came, that was a real line. And what I was referring to was really, at the time, was Meek and Drake having differences. Mm. And I was just, that was just me flowing with my gut. Me talking to me, hey, me. And Ross don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we know. Yeah, I ain't giving a fuck. That's what it is. We and, know. That, and that's what that was at the time. You know what I'm saying? That was just me speaking a vibe. You spoke about Meek and Drake. Obviously, y'all are in a great place. Y'all are cool. You said that y'all share music. Yeah. Can we see something like that happen for you and 50? Or, or is that too far gone? I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ross and them used to tell me, like, man, y'all beef, man, y'all going. He told me about Drake. He said, man, 
three years, that shit, y'all be all right, no, man. I told him, y'all niggas gonna be, trust me. You knew it. I told, yeah, cause I knew where he, I knew what space he was in, mm. and I knew where Drake was at. And I, I was like, yo. I don't think 50 Cent and, and Ross ever, they getting so rich. Well, Ross getting no, no, so he rich. Not. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I don't not. know his business. No, no, he not. Ross getting so rich, I don't even think that's a smart investment to- No, 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 no. To, pass, to beef with anyone, right? Or, right. No, no, no. Respectfully to, yeah. him, I ain't got no smoke, but I'm and I ain't got no, And I ain't got no jobs for him or nothing. You're not hired. No. I don't think you need a job, but- hey, I'm sure look, you do. At minimum, we can respect artistry, and we all love each other. You know, we love good music. It seems like you loved the Hated the Lover song. I saw you was on IG, you was playing it. <laughs> Speedy crazy. I man. love how you set That's... that up, Speedy, and I'm gonna take the alley hoop like Shaq would. Speedy gave me the alley hoop. I mentioned his, his, his mom, you know, she was, you know, she was one of those. So I said it in front of the song, but the song was produced by Cool and Dre, Legendary. which is my homie. Legendary. So the song <clears throat> was a dope song. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you. Yeah. But I'm a shit on, homie. He ain't getting no money. Keep laughing, because it's funny. <laughs> when he come here, if he ever come here and say, how you, you feel, Rose getting all that money, nigga? Do him like that. <laughs> what, you, what you about to say? I said, no, you ain't doing me like nothing. I'm here just rocking. Yeah, I'm, just I'm here rocking with Rose. I ain't gonna lie, it looked like you was enjoying it. You said, no, the shit. coming up, I was confused. And you said. Rap it uh, for me, rap it for nah, me. Nah, you said, uh, woke up the next morning, nigga just stole my bike, different day, same shit, you know? You seemed like you really liked that line about the bike or something. I don't remember. I just like when he mentioned his mama at the beginning. You know the mama part. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why are you laughing Yeah, like they that? shit forever. I don't think that shit turning on. No, no, no. I would love for y'all to get, you know what I'm saying? I don't do that. that. You know dog ain't getting no money. <laughs> Russ, uh, I, I, I'll push forward for us. Um, is it true that one time your ankle monitor went off in front of President Barack Obama? It did. What happened? And Nikki came home screaming, I was arguing about Obama for you. Ross ankle monitor. Wait, oh, so she was there when this happened? Wait, <laughs> I wasn't even there. She told me about that <laughs> shit, bringing off and then. But it was one of those, I was invited by President Obama and I appreciate him. And I was on house arrest at the time. Mm -hmm. I was too. Yeah, I was you ain't house kidding. arrest gang. I heard I was watching from the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was having my dog could be in a house in a White House with an ankle monitor on. I don't know legend. if that's ever been done before. No, I doubt it. In the history, and it probably will never happen again. Especially facing 200 years, so I don't think it was nobody doing it. So what happened? Y'all was in the setting. Uh, I'm yeah, sure we was in the setting, and I heard it go beep, and I just. Trying to start to stick it up because I knew what was in there and it fucked me up. Were people confused? Like, oh, what's that noise? Where's that? The, what's the security people? You secret know, the, service? The secret service started moving. <laughs> because everybody gave away their phones. All electronics had mm. to be given up. So when something started <clears throat> making a noise, you saw all the people in the back. <laughs> and I'm like, damn. And then it finally went off, and then Obama had to say something. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna repeat it out of respect for Obama, though. Thank you for having me there. But Buster Rhymes got a story. <laughs> and what happened? Nikki was there. She came home like, "Yo, the world's fucking ankle monitor went off." No, nah, it's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, uh, we was having like a slight argument. She's like, "Nigga, I be trying to get you on probation with the president, nigga." <laughs> <laughs> Ross there's ankle monitor going on. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but like, it just was a lot going on. It was a lot of hip hoppers in the building. It was a lot of hip hop. Niggas trying to get niggas on probation, ankle <laughs> monitors going on. It was very ghetto in the White House that day. <laughs> that has to be the worst timing for you. Like, she in there trying to put in a good word, like, yo. I don't think it happened at the same time. She was just explaining, like, everything oh. that was going on. At the, okay. She was really coming down on me, like, nigga. <laughs> Ah, I'm speaking up for you, nigga. You Did in the house arguing with me. It was a little discrepancy, but that was a part of the story. Rose shit ringing off in the White House, making it hot. Damn, Rose. Fuck it, though. That's a great. I'm crying. That's a. See, look, I was crying too, so you can't cover. No, no, no. That, that's so best. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm crying laughing. You crying laughing. It, this is just the vibe right now. We all laughing. That's what no, it that is. That was funny. No, that was funny. I ain't gonna lie. You should rap about it. <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> Y'all know um, Contavious Colwell Pope? He played for the Lakers. He was the only player to ever play in the NBA game with an ankle monitor on. Did y'all know that? I seen that before about 10 years ago. Nah, not Eight even. years ago? Less than that, maybe like five what years ago. What he had the ankle monitor for? Uh, I forget, he, yeah, he had a case or something. Like gun case or something. He had house arrest and they told him he can only go to work and back. So he played on the Lakers in a game at the Staples Center. Shout oh, out Lakers. to the Lakers owner for letting that That's the ball that ankle Lakers on the shot. That's, That's why we repping Shaq and Kobe one time yes. for the Lakers. Yeah. Come Ross, on, you're a smart man, man Ross. You're a smart man, because that's where I was trying to bring it. Yeah, that was man, an opportunity with that you, leg. You've been giving me alley oops all day. That was an oop. I, was I got Lakers, you. I caught Kobe. your 50 cent alley oop on that one by this people. <laughs> this I got you on that. I just dunked that. And then speedy you gave me this new one. The, I ain't gonna let, no, no, it's speedy. super viral. No, 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 I got Listen, you. we make moments happy, bro. That's nah, it. I got you. We always make you. moments happy. Yeah. We with you. Um, Meek, yeah. what is it about Tom Brady that people, you say he can't get five minutes to himself? Oh, what I was noticing from chilling around Tom Brady, he like a me, uh, Rose, where you step in the room and them cries where every time you try to talk to somebody just in your ear. This is like the 20th time it happened to me. I posted, I said, this dude can't get five minutes to himself. And just, he laughed. He said, I always enjoy the minutes, but he know what I'm talking no, that's about. Bra that's Brady, though. Yeah, nigga, his life's so lit that yeah, he, he, yeah. he the one, number one quarterback in the yeah, world. Yeah, he the Jordan quarterback. He the yeah. Michael Jordan the quarterback. Now he is. He's the GOAT. By, without by, a doubt. By every mean. Yeah, yeah. He ain't getting three minutes in that room without 20 people walking out. Uh, what 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 watch did he have on that day? I heard he had on a crazy rollie. I know I got a, uh, I fuck with Brady and them. I fuck with Kraft and them too. I got a drink right here. You see, they gave me a Why drink. do you just have this in your pocket? Name all on them. Can he I see He brought it this? for you, Speedy. Can I see this? It was a press day. He Why brought it for you. you. just have it on deck, like in no, your it's pocket? a press day, but I be keeping it in my pocket. Cop might let you get out of a pullover with that motherfucker on you right there. You hear me? <laughs> like, yeah, I am not a criminal, bro. Nah, I'm this in. this crazy. No, nah, that's not And it does say mill on it. That's tough. Yeah, I fuck Can with Kraft. You heard me? He tied me in with them boys, said, look, I'm going to make you a ring. When I be hollering at Brady and them, they play the humble, the humble goat role. They, they give you the respect. So, you know, I'd I be on the same tight time. This yeah. is crazy. That's yeah, it's a good that, joint, right? I feel like you need a case or some shit. You just had it in the pocket. Uh, Ross, a quick Google search says that your net worth is $150 million. Is that accurate? <laughs> <laughs> Is that accurate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ta. Don't believe that, Jones. <laughs> is it is it is it way off? Is it it's close? I said, Ta. <laughs> it was funny. I'm, I'm at least they tweaked it that little bit. Why was it lower? That shit ain't never hit. I right. never. I've never. That shit has never been accurate before. For you, like you would shut never. It up I'm talking about game. never since I got in the game. Since I got in the game. Whoever doing that, I don't know who doing that. They they need to know what bankers they <laughs> dealing with. Based off of what yeah, company? Yeah, because I ain't with Wells Fargo or whoever that is. They, <laughs> I ain't with that Jones. So you're well past, or or what is it? Are you past that? Are you not quite there yet? What's the? <laughs> he ain't getting a message. Hey, let me, I gotta laugh like you did. Let me laugh like you did that first half. I'm finna turn, I'm finna turn red too, but. <laughs> no, I get the message, but I just, you wanna make it clear for the audience watching at home, you know what I'm saying? Girl, Think, things are, we ain't gotta make nothing clear. Y'all know the hustlers of the year. Y'all know what's going on. They ain't rich forever. Yeah, this shit is for real. We ain't playing no games, you know what I'm saying? In the no. pace we on, in another year, holler at us. Meek, a quick Google search for you says that your net worth is $20 million. Uh, I don't even be talking. I, I never really do the money uh, talk. You hear me? That said a dub. You hear me? You ain't that dub. I, I don't never really be talking money. I just be giving it up. You oh. hear me? I'm just going to give it up to you and let you have it. You know what? No, you say that. Yeah, for sure. I never, I, I don't. Some days I might go. 70 days without looking at my exact total amount of my money as long as my banker is letting me know that i'm not losing money and i'm gaining because it gives me anxiety keep looking at numbers all day it's like when you put money in stocks the stock trader told me say put a lot of money in stock don't keep looking at that shit is going to drive you crazy yeah. i make sure i keep a sharp sharp eye on my on my money that shit don't be right i'm gonna keep it real 
I don't be knowing how much I, I know that's I got more money, money than that, way more money than that, but yeah, I'm just yeah, not yeah, a money that's talker that's, because... That's, that, that's you, you got to realize, when you're a major player that's been in the game for a long time, you know, and you've been winning, it's one thing when you you on the grind. It's a different, you know, when I was a hustling on the grind, I, I, I would say it in my music. When you get to a certain level, it's a different, it's a different, you had a different And pace. then too, like, it's like me when I'm in my circle, like, I'm, I'm, I'm the richest. I might jump, then jump around a nigga like Rose. He might be on a whole nother level. Then jump in another room, they're on a whole nother level. It's all about where you seeing yourself at if you on a path. I never really be talking like really money like that, but niggas know we getting that shit. We gonna get that shit forever. No, we on the yeah. A game. <coughs> Rose <laughs> top three, nigga. <coughs> Two Print that. Sure. Print um, that. Go viralization. <laughs> viralization. Like the viralization. That's yeah, yeah, shit. viralization. Challenge me. I ain't never heard of that. That's a new shit. Yeah. Every interview I've ever had with you, I've asked you this as the last question, but you've always said today is a perfect day to boss up. Why is today a perfect day to boss today, up? Today you may not make it home. That got dark. I ain't gonna lie. It's deep. Hey, what was the last time you spoke with your mom? Yesterday. Okay, yesterday may have been the last time you ever spoke to her. That's why today is the perfect day. Mm. Tell your mama you love her. Perfect day to boss up, handle all your business. You ain't spoke to your kids. You in debt with one of your friends. You fell out with one of your homies that you genuinely love. You just ain't called him. Mm -hmm. Today is the perfect day to handle all that because you may not make it home. Deep. Very deep. Meek, why don't you answer that question as well? Why is today a good day to boss up? I talked to a guy the other day who was dying. <clears throat> And like, yeah, I be dead in a day or two, man. Y'all got your breath. Y'all can take a deep breath. All that. He's like, I can't do that shit. I talked to him for an hour. It just brought me down a little bit. He got his life. I mean, I got my life a, a shot to be able to do what I do. That He ain't here no more. Mm -hmm. That was probably seven days ago. He knew he was about to leave three, four days. Shit, today is always the day to be able to, you know, you got that family member, that opportunity. Take that, because ain't no telling what tomorrow got around the corner or later on in the day. Damn. That's real. Yeah. That's why I'm glad to have both of y'all back together again, making yeah, music sure. together again. It's, it's too been, good to be true. Been, it's too good to be true. It's been long awaited. Yeah, for uh, sure. What can people expect from this project, man? Fucking shit up. A masterpiece. I stood in the backyard throwing a little bread looking at the fish swim up. We should open a fish market. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Fuck it, seafood. I want my own food anyway. I want my own vegetables. Let's open one of you got enough land for Let's go half and half on that Jones. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's too easy. So a new project coming, but also a new fish market is loading as well. Fuck it, why not? What we calling it? You like snapper? I'm more of a flounder guy. Big fish, little flounder? fish market. Big, big fish, fish is a beautiful thing. You heard me? Look at that. Let him get you there, you heard? Hey, Russell make me. sure when next time you go to a restaurant, I want you to try Dover Soul. I've had it many times. Okay, make sure they stand the, the, the bone up vertical. The fish lay down on the plate and the bone <laughs> up. Thank you for that. I got That's like a real job. It's too easy. Shit, my boy. Appreciate you, bro. It's too Love. easy. Wow, y'all really called me and Shaq. Y'all playing the watches the match? Why not? That was a mistake, too. It was an accident? No, that was destiny. Niggas don't even be giving them Cardis up. That was you destiny. Catch a nigga on a special day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was destined? Niggas yeah. ain't wear them Cardis in a second. Should've pulled yours out. Don't be just saving that shit for later. Come on, Speedy.